Hi folks, this is SW Solution Wireless here again with another quick tutorial. This one is on the iPhone 3G, which I have a lot of questions on uh, regarding the air and the stuck Apple logo stuck here. The air that will spit out is 10, 15, 31, 94 uh, when you're trying to restore it uh, via the iTunes. And there's a reason for uh, those air. Uh, is because uh, your iPhone 3G was previous, previously jailbroken with <clears throat> with the baseband uh, 615.00 and when you restore it it gives you a 10, 15 error if you delete it from the phone if you delete the iPhones to factory reset it it will give you error 31.94 and this is the tutorial for it hopefully it helps uh, some of your uh, some of your errors. So first you do need to download a couple programs that we have a link on uh, the iRev and you open, you download and just uh, run it. holding the home button and when you hear that chime it should be in the FU mode and you can release the home button and wait for this to uh, to process The screen will show up. Okay, so once the screen show up, that means you're completely done. You're in the DFU mode. Your phone should look like this: black screen, nothing showing. You just exit this out. Next up is just open iTunes. Your uh, iTunes should detect your uh, phones in the DFU mode. So at this stage, you just press and hold the shift key, press restore. And locate that custom firmware that I have a link on that you can download. This custom firmware has Cydia in it. And it will restore Cydia as well as the 615 iPad baseband. So this should go to uh, restore. So the reason for the Apple logo stuck, and when you restore it, it gives you a couple errors, like 10, 15. And 31.94 is because your previous 3G iPhone was jailbroken, as well as uh, custom iPad baseband 615.0. Um, and when you restore it, the system um, can't. Um, uh, it basically it prevents it from completely restoring. If you're to uh, you're to delete the phone from your from your 3G iPhone, so you go setting and you factory reset the phone then it should give you a 3194 error. Uh, if you're to uh, plug it into iTunes and restore or update then it should, it's going to give you a 1015 error. And those are two errors, it's, it's essentially equivalent of the same. So. Uh, So this is what you should see. Wait until this complete bars go all the way up here 
and once it's done, you should uh, you should be able to uh, restore back into original setting. Except that it has to have um, it's going to have Cydia as well as the iPad baseband. You can't really get rid of that iPad baseband um, for the 3G, uh, so you kind of have to restore it via the custom with iPad baseband uh, that I created. So you can create your own custom uh, iPad, uh, custom uh, firmware uh, via Snowbreeze, uh, but I did it uh, so it would be so much uh, uh, Snowbreeze, uh, so, so much easier for, uh, for you. Uh, sure, folks out there that don't know how to do the custom firmware. But uh, this process should take about you know, 15, 20 minutes. So that's it, folks. Um, once it restored, you should um, should be done. Thank you. Bye -bye. Subscribe if you like.